The attorney general has a stone heart. In spite of everything, I'm going to play an interview. Now, he's not, it's not just about Jati eh? The attorney general has also been very forthright on another matter, the Opuni case. A new judge said that uh, he was going to start the trial afresh. People seemed excited about it. I don't even understand it. Anyway, he took a read to the Court of Appeal, appealed against the decision. The Court of Appeal agrees with him. And now the Opuni trial will continue from where it left off. Because Mr. Oponi has lawyers to defend him. Mr. Oponi believe, believes that he's not guilty. Some people believe him. Some people think he's guilty. The court will determine that. Democracy is meritocracy. Please, give credit to meritocracy. All our people, politicians, give credit to meritocracy. You also have young people in your group who are clever, who are meritorious. There's a meritorious young man. The youngest attorney general ever in the Republic of Ghana. He's, 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 just won, not, he's, he's just not won cases in Ghana. He's won cases abroad. He's won international arbitrations. He saved Ghana money. All of you talk about Galamse. He saved the country $15 million by watching Joy FM's news file and listening to Metro TV's Randy Abe. It was Metro TV's Randy Abe who was on Joy FM's news file who said that the gold company had got the, he was listening at home. And he came, went to work on Monday and said, this cannot happen. Ghana cannot lose 15 million to these people. I'll go to Kumasi and change it. It's the same attorney general. It's meritocracy. It's part of democracy. Let's respect that. And don't just think that you can bully somebody. We have seen attorney generals at his office. The same desk he sat. Who did nothing? I will not mention names to get into trouble. But you know who you are. There are atten- Recently, I'm not talking about... Uh, uh, 1965, no, 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 I'm talking about, if I mention the year, they will see, I will mention the year. The attorney general said they did nothing, absolutely nothing. Today we see them parading around doing politics. They did not zero at the attorney general's office, nothing to help anybody. He saved the country 15 million when nobody has asked him to. He was deputy attorney general. Nobody asked him. He was deputy attorney general in charge of civil. He said, no way I will not allow this to happen. And then you, you want to bully him? You are, you are at the wrong place. This guy cannot be bullied. Let's deal with democracy. It's counterpart. It's bedfellow. It's twin. It's meritocracy. Meritocracy has very little to do with age. It may have something to do with age, I concede, but it's very little. Meritocracy has to do with conduct, capability, capacity, tenacity, knowledge. That's meritocracy. It's not age. Meritocracy. Can you tell me that this is not meritocracy? He should stop prosecuting Jassi Kwesi because of why? I don't understand it. Play Domahini again and we'll take the response. Play Domahini again. Meka onimonyam for ba kubi ofri Canada. I say Canada not na obi o. Be pepper or the atuo or bagana abebua. Or ba ena hon sense mbinti. Onyamani. Now, no Supreme Court, yes, sir. Now, but to have to have been a bench, you will be no cranium, me and Cassadia. Some men were Supreme Court, Cassadina and Kame, Macaulay, Kame, and Corright. And Nancy and Kamakono, one share, one, everybody, but he's asking me, I walk into Minko Kabi. No more, Miss and the Attorney General of Ghana. Where Emram and Kwame say, A dear B, a cosso, na Oshagana for a Nijian Nima, Otimiade, Ochaso. Domahini again, he said, O buy a don in San Simbi, Domahini, Venkuto, O buy a yen San Simbi, O buy no diatro, as a crapping man will say, Onimunam for no fee Canada buy no. Or buy an odiatro on Kratasso, odiatro. That's what he did. Don't, don't cover it up. Don't beautify it and say, or buy an insem simbi, and yes, simbi, odiatro. Or many monyan for no buy no, or buy no, a crata, an electoral commission, the man no, odiatro, or crata no do, odiatro. And yes, insem sem, don't say it's or buy insem sem. You see, this is the kind of thing. What is insem sem? You know what it is, odiatro. He was untruthful. He was untruthful to the Electoral Commission. That's what it is. He was untruthful. Yes, he won the elections. I was there. Congratulations to him. He won the elections. 
It doesn't take away from the fact that he was untruthful on the document. If we want to build a society and a democracy, are we going to protect people who have been untruthful when the law says you should say it this way, he says it the other way, and we are protecting him because he's a party member? No, 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 we can't say that. We can't say that. Ben Kutu, I beg you, Romaini, Pipaocho, Udiatro, and you Sem Sem Udiatro, that's the story. Say it well. Some people, our media say they, they say the truth. This is the truth. Udiatro, that's what happened. Anybody who says don't prosecute that equation, they always struggle for words. That's why he's struggling for words. He's using sounds. Obay and Sem Sem. Sem Sem Bay, Udiatro. Udiatro, Wakratano, Udiatro. That's the question. Udiatro, he's an honorable man. No doubt about that. I respect him. He's congratulations for his victory. But the fact is that he was untruthful. Adamu Sakande too was untruthful. May he rest in peace. He was jailed. He died. We all cried because we like him. It doesn't take away from the fact that the evidence that he gave to the court was untruthful. This is the Attorney General's response. Now, you, you see the decorous nature in which he ended that interview. The guy says, Doma, he has said something. He says, no, 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 I can't talk about it. I'll go back to the office and we'll issue a proper statement. That's how to deal with it. See the way he addresses Doma. He doesn't mention him. But see the way he addresses him in this. Go on. Now, this is the story. The Office of the Attorney General and Ministry of Justice has observed with serious concern the increased tendency for various persons. Now, this is Doma. He is talking about various persons, including members of the legal profession of considerable standing. Is Doma Hini he's talking about? You see how respectful he is? Is Doma Hini here he's talking about? He says, including members of the legal profession of considerable standing. That is Doma Hini, and a high court judge, a justice of the superior court of judicature, sits down and says, the Supreme Court was wrong. Oh, wow, why? 2023, 30 years of democracy, a high court judge goes into a public forum. I don't know whether he's seeking applause. He got some applause. I don't know whether he's being sentimental. A high court judge. If you were in England, a crown court judge, and then you say the House of Lords was wrong, that you would have ruled differently. King Charles will summon you to Buckingham. That would be the end of it. How do you do that? Including members of the legal profession of considerable standing to run extremely prejudicial commentary on cases pending before the courts. He goes on. The cases which have been the subject of unwarranted public commentary include, but are not limited to, Republic versus Jachi Kwesin, Republic versus Dr. Stephen Opuni, and two others, the Republic versus Kesel Atuforsen, and two others. The Attorney General goes on. Whilst respecting the freedom of all persons in Ghana to comment on any matter, including cases pending before the court, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice takes note that much of the recent commentary on many of the so-called high-profile criminal cases transgresses permissible limits of free speech. Great work. This, this, is, how, this is democracy. Have you heard that Attorney General says that the kinds of things you are saying, it transgresses the permissible limits of free speech. You can't talk like that as a high court judge. Abba. Unduly interferes, those comments, unduly interferes with the work of the state prosecutors performing their constitutional function of prosecuting crime in Ghana and tends to put unnecessary pressure on the courts. Precisely so. The state prosecutors are doing their work. You have the right to defend yourself. The criminal trial is for the defense. They can do anything they want. They can go up and come down, go to court of appeal, come back. They can have so many interlocutories. The court will entertain it. Because the wheels of justice, they say, turn slowly. So the prosecution, the defense have every right. And so you don't have to make such prejudicial comments as a high court judge. Two, the attorney general respectfully reminds Ghanaians of the principle of equality, before, equality of all persons before the law. Enshrined in Article 17.1 of the, of the Constitution, no person living in Ghana, citizen or non-citizen, is above the laws of Ghana or immune from an application of same. No person is above the laws of Ghana. So because he is Jashi Kwesin, and especially because he won a beautiful election last Tuesday, suddenly we should say, oh no, it's okay. How are we going to explain it? That he did it, that he didn't do it, that he did it, but he's a big man. That, oh, he did it, but he won the election. 
Really? Is that how, is that how, they, they, is that how they do it? He did it, but he won the election. So, because he won the election, Charlie, let the guy go. In fact, he won the by-election. They said he wasn't a member of parliament. The Supreme Court removed him, and he went back, and he won the by-election so that he's no more within the law. He's now above the law. As, I'm, as I've been repeating this evening, 100 and 275 members of parliament fill the same form. Are they prosecuting all of them for the same thing? Has any of them received any letter from the police? Has any of them received any letter from the Electoral Commission? Has any of them received any summons from the Attorney General? All of you fill the same form in the same manner. Why are all of you not being prosecuted? I sincerely hope that the right Honorable Doajao is watching the program. Sometimes he watches. Honorable Doajao, if you are watching the program, I know you. Can you talk to your people? I mean, all of them fill the form. All of them fill the form. Why is only one person being prosecuted? What did he say on the form? Then Domahini says, nah, basa basa bina, asembiba. Oh, dear, tro. that's the point. Okay, let's, 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 let's continue. Let's deal with it. Number three, the Attorney General's constitutional responsibility for the initiation and conduct of all prosecutions of criminal offenses implies a duty to prosecute a crime committed in Ghana after proper investigations have been conducted, irrespective of the political, race, color, ethnic, religion, economic, or social status of the culprit. I like this. He says that the responsibility implies a duty to prosecute a crime committed in Ghana after proper investigations have been conducted, irrespective of the political, race, color, ethnic, religion, economic, or social status of the culprit. The state's attorneys assisting the attorney general in the performance of this hallowed constitutional mandate operate under extreme pressure and are exposed to severe risk. They have the right to prosecute cases freely in a court of law just as private legal practitioners enjoy a right to defend their clients free from abuse and attacks on their character. In the same way, if a lawyer is defending somebody, you can't tell the lawyer that we need a bonipa, a kwa we won't say no yeah. No. The lawyer is doing his work. So state attorneys have to do their work. Four, the decision to prefer a charge against an accused person is not made on the basis of a person's political status, social or economic standing, but on the strength of the evidence subject to the scrutiny of the courts. An acquittal of a person by the court does not imply malice on the part of the republic in the filing of a charge. Attorney General is doing some education. He's saying that when people go to court and they are acquitted, it doesn't mean that you tell the attorney general, oh, oh, so we knew, oh, oh. No, it doesn't mean that. You go to court with the strength of your case. You believe in your case. The court may rule otherwise. It's just like if you and I are fighting over land. I go to court with the strength of my case. He comes with the strength of his case. The court may rule otherwise. That, that the attorney general uh, fails a prosecution it doesn't mean that the prosecution was done with malice. It doesn't mean that no we're meaning the pants with the with the nyakopo na ajie. Oh, say nyamia mo with the That's not how it works. That's not how it works. That the attorney general is doing some education. I think he's beginning to feel that he needs to educate our people. I believe particularly those of us who comment publicly, those of us who are in the media comment publicly. The attorney general is beginning to feel that he needs to give us some education. And I think this is for all of us. It's for those of us who have been commenting, commentators, journalists, news reporters, all of us. I think this is for us. For that reason, I'll, I'll read it again for my own education. He says, the decision to prefer a charge against an accused person is not made on the basis of a person's political status, social or economic standing, but on the strength of the evidence subject to the scrutiny of the court. An acquittal of a person by the court does not imply malice on the part of the republic in the filing of the, of the charge. Thank you. Thank you, Attorney General. We take that. The perception that a crime committed by a person of high political standing in society should not be prosecuted is dangerous for society and must not be countenanced. That's, that's true, isn't it? It's particularly true. Okay. The Office of the Attorney General and the Ministry of Justice observe that many of the recent comments by various persons on some criminal matters, particularly those mentioned above, widely publicized in the media, clearly exceed the bounds of acceptable speech as they seek to disparage 
prosecutors in the eyes of the public and frustrate prosecution of those cases. Some of the comments are orchestrated to pervert the, court of, to pervert the course of justice and or prejudice the fair hearing and determination of the case. The Attorney General and Minister of Justice, in the discharge of his duty to protect the administration of justice from abuse, hereby entreats the general public to permit the streams of justice to flow freely and uncontaminated by undue comments and pressure on the courts. The Attorney General finally cautions that no immunity is conferred by a person's position in Parliament. Thank you. The judiciary, traditional authority, the bar, or any official position from the consequence of an interference in the administration of justice or an attempt to overreach a judgment to be delivered by the court in any matter. We must respect due process. We must, we should, and hopefully we will respect due process. That's the Attorney General statement. Uh, at two minutes past 11, I think that this is, this is great.